everybody. You're online. I'm live. Are we, we went live. Oh, she went live and she surprised us. Hello. <laughs> she just fucking. This she is just fucking utterly took us insane live. productions. The, the insane asylum. I'm There's stuck Mark in a and book Joe. And I can't get out. <laughs> they are playing with the Kindle Fire. <laughs> Yes, it's Joe's he's, Kindle he's Fire. He's destroying my Kindle Fire, motherfucker. I've got books so that I can learn how to do a better podcast. Now he's fucking around in my Amazon Prime account. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm going to order you know, a movie from You know, I got to tell you something. Hello, hello universe or, or world or whatever you come from. or you know, This is Utterly Insane's Productions, Insane Asylum. We're back on track. Hopefully we sound pretty good today. Uh, we had some know, mic issues last right. week. Joe has Joe has issues with the mics. I have issues with you. So, so uh, I don't know. I can't see anybody right now because I don't have Facebook open. I gotta figure out how to. Okay, that's muted. Right. Okay. Oh, we are live right here. Yeah, and then Kamala, she did that to us. Yeah. She fucking took me by surprise, man. Yeah, well, that's your wife. Well, you said you were starting in 20 minutes at, at 10 after, so hey. Yeah, you weren't prepared. So you weren't prepared. Not I my actually, problem. Ashley. You're fine. Go Even right Joy down. says hi. Listen to that. Did you see that? Even the puppy said hi. Get in there. Lay down. Uh, <laughs> do you see it or do you hear it? Go see, see it there's here. the puppy. See I that have my it camera. muted over here. I made sure I muted it before I opened it. Never mind, because obviously you don't get what I was saying. Okay. I got, I got, a, I got. Anyway, this is the insane asylum. I'm Joe, and we we haven't discovered who this is yet. Oh I'm, wait a minute! I'm somebody. I thought you were Jesus Christ, and that was God. Okay, I'm Jesus Christ. This is God. You sure I don't? You don't want me to be Charles Manson today? I can do that to you. <laughs> and, anyhow, we are coming to you live from Watertown, Wisconsin, and it is snowing outside. Yes, you can see Joy. She's on camera over by Tanya. That is Timber Joy, our purebred Siberian Husky mascot, and she's got herself a bottle. All right. Anyway, I got something to tell you. We took a trip a couple of weeks ago, I think, or well, a few weeks back. We were taking a trip, and I think we were going to see my daughter, Deborah, for breakfast. Was that for the trip? No, we were on our way down to get Ashley. Oh, okay. We were on our way to go get Ashley. And I swear to God, and I'm not kidding you, this is this is fucking true, man. I was going was, fucking nuts. It wasn't yesterday. It was a week ago yet. Friday. He was high on something. No, I wasn't. No, I was, he wasn't. but you know, I wasn't that out of my fucking mind, man. She bumped it again. Anyway, we got behind this fucking truck. Okay. And and I think if I remember right, it was a garbage truck. I don't know. I was I was it, it was fucked up, man. I swear to God, fucking aliens were talking to me. I'm not fucking shitting you. I was saying it the whole time. I think. <laughs> fucking aliens and UFOs and they were coming to get me. I swear to God. You know the, the back of the truck, how it has those lights? This this motherfucker had all different colors of lights and it was going in fucked up weird patterns, man. The fucking patterns were talking Okay, the different colors were in your mind because I only no, saw one color. colors, man. It was like blue, green, yellows. I only saw orange. No, there was blue, greens, yellows. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. Hi, Bill. And we were behind this motherfucker for almost two hours. Thank you. I we all like the backdrop hey, too. Bill. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> we got more coming eventually down the road. That's going to change too on and off. We're going to switch them in. We and have off. what three or four of them now? So, but yeah, we got. We got all kinds of ideas coming. We're Actually, just right now, I an think audio problem. I have, and... I have an idea. Uh oh. Right now, now I'd, we're like, all in fucking I'd trouble. like whoever's watching to let us know how they how we sound because I don't have sound on. You don't have sound on. She don't have sound on. Therefore, we don't know how it sounds. Yeah, we got to get that 
that mic. Uh, and the Joe has been having a lot of issues with freaking mics, so we're trying to make sure our audio is fine. So if you can hear us, say something. Yep. You can just type something. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> okay, well, well, I'll type something. <laughs> yeah. Say so, something. So, and I, and something. I, didn't something. Say, I, I didn't say something. I said something. Okay, anyway, what Spelling are we talking about this, guy, this week, guys? Uh, well, last week we were going to talk about the zombie virus, I mean coronavirus. Ashley says it sounds good to her. All right, are we loud awesome. enough? Yeah, I have, and, I, uh, I, uh, but before we get to that, because that's a, that's a pretty big subject right now. Okay, it's a very and, and big that, subject and, right now because the, the WHO had um, finally des- decided to make it a uh, worldwide epidemic. Yeah, well... The WHO? World Health Organization. Oh. So, because it's, it's already uh, had a couple cases not here. The, not the, but wow. they're ma- but they're mainly in China. But I wanted to touch there's, on a couple other subjects before that. But go ahead. There's um, I can't remember. There's there's like seven thousand people now in China infected, and there's been two hundred and seven deaths from it in China. There's seven cases in the United States that have been discovered, and one of the particular cases has um, been proven to be uh, human to human contact. So it, it moved from human to extremely human. Extremely contagious, no cure. And in scientists other, w- in other words, if you feel like you got the flu, you need to go in and get tested. No, no. Well, the, the, I, I haven't heard what the, the symptoms are. They haven't figured anything totally out so, yet, how it gets contracted, uh, how it's passed from one individual to another, if it's airborne, if it's human contact, if it's bodily fluids. Uh, symptoms of the coronavirus, cold or flu-like symptoms. In other words, okay. if you feel like you got the cold, a cold, just a common cold or the flu, I suggest you go in and get tested just to make sure that you don't have the coronavirus or that they can catch it early and possibly. But what if it's, you know, I mean, it's... It, it's <sighs> The chances of somebody like you, me, or Mark, or us getting it are pretty slim. You'd have to, because it originated in China. Okay, the chances of any of us are getting it is slim. Right now. Then why is there seven cases in the United States, even if it originated they in traveled. China? It doesn't fucking matter. They traveled to China. If they didn't isolate those people that they found infected here after they got back from traveling, then we could all be fucked because it would be an epidemic. It starts here and it starts spreading and then it's going to get here and then there's no way to contain it. You said there were 270 (laughs) in China. There's actually about 858 people have died from Middle so, East Respiratory Syndrome, so which it's appeared going, in it, 2012. It's going, it's killing pretty fast. But yeah. that could also, it could have been around for a while and nobody well, knew it. there's another thing um, that, that was posted on Facebook that my niece Jennifer posted. It's kind of interesting. Uh, anybody remember the game Resident Evil? The game? Yes. Yeah. yes. And it became a movie. Remember the Umbrella Corporation? Yes. Remember their symbol? Shaped like an umbrella. Red and white. Yes. There's a company over in uh, China that had been studying this virus. Their symbol <laughs> looks just like the Umbrella Corporation symbol, only it's blue and white. Oh, wow. And where do you think some of that stuff comes from sometimes? When and, people come up with ideas for games and movies. Hang on. No, uh, their symbol came after the game. Are you sure? Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, here's here's another little uh, tidbit about that. Um, there's been a lot of civil unrest in China. Civilians have been revolting against the government. And then all of a sudden, poof, this virus comes about. Yeah, the, the government 
being it's a, a communist. It's a conspiracy theory, okay? The I'm government being a, a okay, yeah. here's the idea, the government being a, a communist conspiracy country, theory is they unleashed, the they unleashed a, a bug. On their people. Yeah. Okay, well, according to WebMD, coronaviruses were first identified in the 1960s, but we don't know where they come from. They get their name from their crown-like shape. Sometimes, but not often, a coronavirus can infect both animals and humans. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Man-made. Well, see, the thing is, though, um, this particular one, the, the, the coronavirus, the Wuhan coronavirus, they're believing it actually originated in a live animal. This is, this is how... Because this is, where it started. it started at, where it started at in China is, is that marketplace where they actually sell live dogs and, and well, monkeys and this and is this is a, like this that. is also another conspiracy theory. This is how these governments control the population by unleashing shit like this. These well, viruses no, and saying, stuff like that. You're saying governments. Yeah, okay. governments. So yeah, I guess I guess think this, about it. In the foreign sense, even the our government and in, in some conspiracy theories have, on, have done on. things to try to con control the population. In a, in a, in a, in a Ash says she's hearing a little bit of static. She's starting to hear a little bit of static. So I don't know what that is. Could be his talking. It could be Facebook too. Could be his talking. Anyway, <laughs> in a true democracy. The people are the government, and the ones I'm pretty that sure I are all the doing cameras and turn them off to not doing what need to be done in the in the the governmental realm are the representatives of the people that were elected and put in there. Problem being is because we are about to lose our democracy. We're at the end of the of our democracy, getting ready to become an oligarchy dictatorship. Thanks to the complacency and willingness of the Republicans. Well, let's not get into the politics. But what of I, you know, you kind of brought it up. I'm trying to explain to you. I'm just saying. In a true democracy, the people are the ones that are supposed to be in control. In China, let me a communist, make a quick comment to what she that's just communism. said. That's communism. The communism, the government, or the people that were elected, are now the sole government and they make the decisions regardless of what the people want and if the people want to vote them out they can't because there's no votes there's no electing your representative anymore. wow That's it's awesome. just like in in um Look what happened in russia, russia. Yeah. putin's putin's in, yeah, in control he's president that. forever now and that's, that's because what, that's his what government the, up and that's quit the, on that's him that's what the, the orange clown here in the united quit. states wants to do yeah he's trying to He's trying to get right. everybody pissed off enough to if where they just up and quit. talking about this, all we're going to do is piss off a lot of people. Yeah. Because nobody's going to agree with our point. Well, there's very few people left in this world that are probably going to agree to the truth. You know, of what's happening. And that's, that's very unfortunate. Yeah. You know. But anyway. I mean, I don't even feel safe walking around anymore like I did back in the 70s and yeah. the 80s. You can't. Where... I, I felt safe walking around in any fucking neighborhood and I didn't give a rat's ass. But nowadays, I don't even feel safe walking around this fucking small town that I live in today. And I hate to say that because this is a just, community it's a nice little small in, town. Well, town. I'm not talking about the community. I feel safe in this little community. I know a few people here. But, and this know, is private and, property. And, and, and I'm out, when I'm out in this community, yeah. I'm walking my dog and people see my dog, they think wolf and they leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah, well, they're stupid to think of. But anyway, back on topic. I saw a couple of articles. I'm not sure. I wanted to see, figure out what this is. Do you know who who this is first to figure RAF? out? Yeah, who's what's RAF? That's our Air Force. That's our Air Force. Yeah, our the United States is Air Force. Okay. There, there. This article is in the Daily on the Daily Star. Okay, on under weird news, UFO, blah blah blah, on a website. Okay, it, it's a UK site, obviously. But anyway, they're to unseal UFO files with records to go online within the first quarter of 2020. That means they've only got a couple of months left. 
February, the rest of February and all of March to get this stuff online. But the Air Force closed down its UFO desk, desk in 2009, but plans to declassify its archives and have been criticized by alien hunters who point out they said they had released everything before. So apparently they never released everything no. before, like they said. So they lied you, to you, you again. They you say they declassified thing? everything, and then they turn around and lie to you again and say, oh, there's more. Now says Bill joined. Hi, Bill. Again. You know, that's kind of uh, fucked up, though. You know, you no, think it about is, it. They, it, it. It also proves that the government turned around and lied to you again. They said, this is it. Here, we're releasing all this alien UFO files. Oh, wait, there's more. And we're going to... You know, un declassify it and stuff. Okay, now, do you truly think the government, as we call it now, because people don't actually see us as being the government and them being, and the, and the, the others being, uh, being the employees of, of us? Uh, do you really truly think they're going to actually release things like that? Well, no, this is, this isn't, you were wrong. This is, is, this was the UK, the UK government, not the, not the, okay. RAF, it, it, it's an Air Force. Oh, that's the, the Royal, Royal Air, Air Force. Force. Okay. That's England. So Yeah, that would be English, the English Air Force. Well, England's. I wonder, I wonder how interesting, that. yeah, but still. That's the one that carried. But the, either way, our Air Force, their Air Force, think about it. Who's well, up? Navy, in, who's up in the? the Navy those Air Navy Force pilots some, are. Some video. Yeah, but those Air Force pilots are up in the sky all the time. Wouldn't it be interesting to find out what has been classified for so long, what they've really seen? You know, it's been kept a secret for so long. Makes you wonder. Think about it. I mean, I have thought about you it. can't see as much as they see when they're up there traveling no. as these these mock speeds and and you know going places that you, we can't go physically without that equipment. You know, they're going to see this shit, and when they report it, oh, don't say nothing. If you say something, well, you're going to get uh, demoted. You're going to get your ranks taken away. You're going to get your rights taken away. Oh, wait. Maybe we're going to go and do something to your kid or your wife, you know, because they get threats, you know, because they did Area 51. That's what we heard out of some of those retired people from there that used to work there, that if they spoke, that part of it was that, that they signed these contracts and yeah, that, that, that if they spoke to something, that, that their family was going to be in threats or that <coughs> something was going to happen. The thing is, Bob and, Lazar, he, he's, one, he's the one, main one that everybody knows about who's who's actually talked and done interviews. Right, but, uh, you know... It, and it, he has confirmed... I'd love to, oh, I'd love to know what was what, what, me. what's going to be declassified. He has confirmed that, that, that there are UFOs, that there are alien craft, that our government had at Area 51, that well, they were... Like they were said. Reverse engineering. It'd be pretty fucking stupid to think we're the only ones in existence. Well, you know, it's pretty fucking naive. Yeah, that too. But the funny thing is, now, you gotta think about this, too. Everybody knows about Roswell. Everybody knows about 1947 crash. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because that's that's kind of a common knowledge thing anymore. Because, there was, you know, the smallest kids fucking well, oh, yeah. yeah. Plus, plus, I mean, they, they, they made that place super famous after, oh, we're going to rush the place and see what's really in there. What but what they, that don't turned out to be. what they don't learn is the fact that it was a new equipment, a new radar testing that, that brought this aircraft <laughs> down. And another thing they don't learn is the fact that it wasn't just one. It was three flying saucers that our Air Force, and I'm not sure, actually, they claim they were testing this new radar equipment. I'm thinking they were testing a new weapon. Sonar. And they brought these ships down and captured them. The one that hit in New Mexico in Roswell, um, on that farmer's that's ranch. Been a, that's that's been a, the one that's the most most uh, uh, 
known and famous one because of the fact that General Ramey's, who was in charge and sending his lieutenants out there I've to discover it, before. he's the one that released that it was a, a UFO. Were the originally. people the people that were and running Roswell or the, Area Fifty One no, brought them no, down? You gotta think, but you got to think of it this way. You, you really got to think of it this way. The reason we have these aircraft or these ships to reverse engineer is because the other two didn't disintegrate on impact. They didn't come down with with a hard enough thud to disintegrate. So we were able to capture them, capture the, the creatures inside, and take the ships to be looked at, to be reverse engineered. So that's where you, cell phones come from. Did you ever? Fiber did you ever see that? Did you ever see that video? That's why our computer is so fast. That show where <laughs> they were interviewing the guy from Area Fifty One. He Bob worked Lazar. there or whatever, and he that showed he showed you this old footage of a piece of metal that they found from around there. And he was talking about this piece of metal like it was nothing they had ever seen before because, yeah. you know, it like reshaped itself sometime or whatever or did something. It, it looked like a piece of foil. Yeah, you but could it crumple it up foil. into a ball, set it down, and it would reshape itself back out flat. Flat. Yeah. Wow. Right? Without without even having any assistance. That is cool. And there wouldn't be wrinkles or anything in it. Right. But you could see the tear lines from where. It came happened. off the, yeah, yeah, where it came off the ship from the crash. The, the thing is with that, I'm thinking nanotech. And that's why, you know, that's why later on during this 80s, you started hearing about nanotech because they finally was able to break or, the code and figure out what it was. Or maybe that's where that, uh, that, that Star Trek idea came from where they, they built the tank on the... Uh, the one enterprise when they brought the whale back from the past. Transparent aluminum? Uh, transparent aluminum. I mean, maybe that really is something that does exist, and that's what that was, because, Could you know, be. you don't really see them, and then there's the technology of, uh, what do they call it, like a cloaking device. Mm -hmm. That would make well, sense, because it's like aluminum. We and, do have, uh, we it, do have. It kind of uh, does like the mirror, you know, like a thousand, you know, it makes like a reflection all around yeah. the ship to reflect everything that it's, you know, to make it look like it's not there. Yeah, pretty much. Well, in a way, that's that's kind of uh, I mean, that's cloaking. the theory. In a way, Samsung kind of did that too with a semi. They put cameras on the front of the semi and um, screen kind of set up on the back of the semi. Yeah. And the cameras are uh, filming whatever's in front of the semi and showing it on the screen to the back right. of the semi. So it kind of hides the semi from view. Really? So you can see what's in front of that semi. Oh. Yeah, Samsung already did that. But still. But that's kind of the technologies and, and the, the way well, that right. works. Yeah. The cameras capture what's next to the ship and then produce... Well, that, an image on the other side. Of the that would that would explain so, why that metal would have to so do what, what would happen. Dead. What would happen with with uh, our current technology, knowing what we know, to do a cloak of an entire ship like that, you would need a camera and projection system. In other words, you'd need enough cameras on all parts of the ship to be able to film 360 degrees in front back everywhere around the ship but yet have also projector system that would be able to project the image out from the ship and that's all you're going to see is what's on the other side of the ship but unless the ship. that metal so, does something spectacular and never know. kind of blends in like never a know. chameleon and you wouldn't see shit either right well that's the thing, but I'm saying I'm not saying that technology. I'm saying with, with right, right, the current right. technology, with what we we've have, got, yeah. I mean, it, you know, that's yeah. what you'd have to do. You'd have to use something similar. Well, that's like that's why they're redoing a bunch of crap in fucking Hollywood. Oh, we got better technology now, so we're just going to re yeah. rehash a bunch. Yeah, of we're going to rehash. We're going to rehash a piece of shit that that didn't make it. 
you know, See, we're gonna we're, we're gonna rehash a great movie, but we're we're gonna do a better job in the graphics and stuff. Or how about this? How but how about but this the storyline's gonna suck. How about this one for you? You ready to hear this one? I don't know if you guys knew about this. Remember the the show Fantasy Island? The plan, the plan, the yeah. plan. Did you know they're, they're yeah, uh, I saw that. They're making a movie called Fantasy Island. Wasn't there a horror. show? They wasn't there a show that. called that? It's yeah. a horror. Fantasy Island. Was it, yeah, it had Mr. Rourke on it. And, and the little the movie bitty? they are making. Yeah, but but the guy is was, a horror. The guy that was most besides the midget, Fantasy the guy that they ran that movie oh. was. Uh, the, uh, How can they Montemar. do that? How can they take the name Con, of a the popular Star, uh, Star show Con, and make it into a horror movie? They're fucked. They're fucked. They're stupid. Uh, you know, Hollywood's isn't that wrong? I mean, that, isn't that kind of copyright? No. no. The Hollywood owns they can rights purchase, all kinds of shit. They can purchase the rights to anything as long as they got enough money and it's No, they're stuff. not. You know, That's wrong. It's like. That is wrong. It is that, wrong. That, that, because that, I would have saw that Hollywood name. Hollywood wouldn't like it. And knowing because I, I used to watch that show every week. I know. All the time. And I would have watched that movie, and I would have had nightmares. Just saying. Because I'm Fantasy Island, to me, is, is, is that island where people's dreams come true. Yeah, and and I remember the little guy saying, system. The plane! The plane! <laughs> yeah. There's one. There's another news story I found. Where'd it go? This one says Cult of Weird. Yeah, this is on his Cult, Cult of Weird of website. Weird. All right. Alaskan Rocks. Yeah, you can now own a piece of this 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 cursed place. Cursed place. Cursed place. What is this cursed place called? Alaskan Rocks for, for sale. sale. Own a piece of Alistair Crowley's house. Mr. Crowley. And it's it's not the Crowley from Supernatural. Um I mean that would be kind of cool. Who is Alice King of King of Hell? Who Crowley is Alistair Crowley? Alistair Crowley, I'm getting to that. He's gonna this tell fits you. in. Alistair Crowley is the most evil is, man in the world. Yeah, he was considered what did one he of do? the most evil men in the world. He used to summon demons. He, including kind of like a warlock. He summoned, he summoned suppose, allegedly he summoned the 12, 12 kings of hell, including Lucifer. There it is, himself. right here. I found that. Kind of like a warlock. Right. It's today. It's if just, you believe in today, those. the place is nothing but charred ruins. Okay? Charred, charred, rubbly ruin. And, that kind of makes selling sense. Selling the rock, the leftover rocks of the place is basically what's going on. Just to make money, right? And all, all right. they are stupid rocks. All right, well, but it was owned by selling, what they call selling pieces of, of what's left of the house, right? Because it was a stone house, they're selling pieces that were left, and because of the, the background history. and history of it, oh. you can own a piece of the cursed house. Okay, I'm right. sorry, that sounds it's creepy. The wickedest, and there's a lot of people. He was called the yeah, you would take it home and put it in no, your listen, house, and you you'd have spirits guy? coming after you. Here, here it is. I found a part of this article. He was the wickedest man in the world. Aleister Crowley, at the turn of the 20th century, conducted numerous black rituals, which some believe left Boleskine cursed. It has long been said that many of the 115 spirits that Crowley claimed to have conjured, which wow. included the 12 kings and dukes of hell, as well as Lucifer himself, are lurking within the walls of this place. Wow. I mean, you talk about somebody that's pure evil. That, that's There's, like pure yeah. evil right fucking there. You want to know Fuck owning a rock. I want his book. What book? His spell book. The book he wrote all those conjurings down in. Is it even around? Oh, wait. You know how much that would be now, worth? Here's right the now? reason. Oh, you want to know the reason lot. they're selling the rocks? All right. May still see new life. Yeah, these formed the not for profit house foundation with the goal of restoring it to its original design. 
So they're raising money to. So they're selling the rocks. So you're gonna get your name on a but rock that'll be in the house the that's that gonna be rebuilt. That are laying around because they're gonna restore that place. Yeah, and then you'll get your name on a rock that goes onto the house, so that everybody can and see really who uh, contributed. The offering the actual pieces of for sale on eBay. What, are you leaving us? You are purchasing one of the original stones of up to 400 grams and one bag of charred remains from the fire on July 31st, 2019 from the house. Oh, wow. So that fire just happened last year. Yeah. So how do you spell Alistair? A L. I-S-T-E-R. And Crowley is C-R-O-W-L-E-Y. Actually, it's A-L-E-I-S. Yeah, I before E, except don't forget that rule. I before E, except that C. C I S T E R. Whatever. I forget that fucking rule. I was never good at English. I slept through most of English. Oh, I was never good at English. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't win no spelling bees. That's for fucking sure. Yep. 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 If it wasn't for Crowley in the Treasure check on House computer, of Images, I'd, I'd have a hell of a time. Or automatic spell Alistair check. Alistair Crowley now. original wa wax recordings, LP new vinyl. Ooh. Alistair Crowley magic rock and roll. <laughs> and the wickedest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm seeing everything except for the rocks. Treasury of magical sheets. But wouldn't it be cool just to go out there? I mean, I, I don't even know where this place is right now. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's like someplace in the UK. <laughs> Dark Star Rising. Magic and power in the age of Trump. Scotland. It's in Scotland. It looks like. But wouldn't it be cool to go out there with some cool meters and stuff and take readings and stuff oh, yeah. and film and, and 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 to see what it was like at night during the day and at night out there? I bet that'd be cool as fuck. You know, it's, it, it's just one of those things that... Okay, here we go. Here's the history of him. Uh, I found a Wikipedia page with the history of him. He was born Edward Alexander Crowley, the 12th of October, 1875. Holy cow. England. He was born in Worcester, England. Worcester? Or, sorry, Warwickshire, England. He passed away December 1st, 1947, at the age of 72. And East Sussex. Wow. And he's got college degrees. And he was married twice. Rose Edith Kelly. And then Maria Teresa Sanchez. He has five children. Wow. <clears throat> he was an all he was an English occultist, ceremonial magic, poet, painter, novelist, and mountaineer. He founded the religion of Thelema, uh, identifying himself as the prophet entrusted with guiding humanity into the aeon of ours. In the early 20th century. Yeah. A, pro, a prolific writer. He published widely over the course of his life. So the guy published. Mm -hmm. Born to a wealthy family in Royal <laughs> you know, Lemington we're... Spa, Warwickshire. He rejected his, fa his, his parents. You know who he looks like, don't you? Fester. <laughs> I was just going to say Fester Adams. From the original black and white series. 
He rejected his parents' Christian Plymouth brethren faith to pursue an interest in Western esotericism. That's kind of a weird name. Uh, he was educated at Trinity College in Cambria. He again mountaineer, a mountaineering and poet. And that's where most of his attention went to. Um, is there a white fur ball down there, my feet? Yes, yes, there is. Fur ball is down there. She's in our in our feet's way. Is she sleeping? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, he was but, recruited into the British Intelligence Agency. Why would you want to, I still, why would you want to restore that place? Historic. If so much evil it's took place historic. there. Anyway, check this yeah. out. This was also last year. This was over Utah, all right? This, this, this was over Utah, okay? And, and this pilot filmed this cigar-shaped object in the sky from his cocktail. Okay. And this was over Utah last year. Check it out. What do you think of that? We're going to figure out how to get uh, this so that they can appear in the background. Yeah, somebody threw a frisbee in my ass. <laughs> that's pretty that's, fucking... That's way the hell up there, too. Yeah. He's, he's up there pretty far. Yeah, he's in like a fighter jet. It's, well, if you it's... look at the um, look at the terrain and, and the way it looks, then yeah, yeah, forty thousand feet. Well, can't you can't she bring that up on a different page over there and then? Yeah, I have to get that set up so that it, it'll do that later. Well, why aren't you doing it? Like, I don't have, have that do set up. Now? I was gonna have that. You know, I he hasn't figured he hasn't figured that remote. part out. I would have that all that. figured out if it wasn't for all the fucking audio problems. Oh, we've been what? Other, otherwise, I could bring it up on this other screen. I and actually I actually could... did a little homework this week before our show, and I had this in here last night you and early this morning, booking, bookmarking some of this stuff before we started today. So I had my bookmarks up over here. Yeah, he had he had his laptop on his uh, on his lap and almost dropped yeah, it because I was sitting over there using my computer because that's where I saw this stuff and I was putting it over here so that I could bring it over here and bring it up. Oh, joy. You know, I mean, I first saw that that that, that story like last week when we were talking about the, the one virus we were going to talk about and I said, well, I got a couple other subjects for that too, but still, I'm still fucking spooked about the fucking aliens talking to me and the UFO shit that happened to us. Jo joy day. keeps moving the camera by the way, guys. Shit, man. Yeah, we got a little white fur ball underneath the table, and she keeps bumping the camera stand. <laughs> She's actually laying in between the legs. Really? Yes. Little She's bitch. got her head by one leg, her feet by the other leg. It was taken over Zion, Zion National Park in the U.S. state. Obviously, Utah, it said. Mm -hmm. Shows the strange white object making its way across the sky. Its shape appears much like a cigar or even a tic tac, matching dozens of similar sightings over the past few months. Given the altitude of the craft, it's difficult to see how fast it's traveling. The clip was taken back in 2000, September 2019, but the footage only surfaced yesterday after being posted by a YouTube channel, Tales from Out There. So the YouTube channel you can find this on is Tales from Out There. They were the original people that posted this video about this uh, cigar-shaped object that appeared in over Utah, over what was that Zion National Park. You know, and they were forty thousand feet in the air. See, I told you he was up there. Always. Well, yeah, forty thousand 40, feet. Forty thousand feet in the air, and it was taken from uh, the video recording is taken from a cockpit. At 40,000 feet of an object flying at a lower altitude over the terrain. So he was up and it was, it must have been like a camera on the plane underneath, you know, how some of those jets have that camera that's yeah, mounted underneath. 
because it was blowing me so I, to, to have an object flying at a lower altitude over the terrain so he was above it so you're looking down on this video that's why you see the terrain the the, the mountain terrain yeah. and stuff yeah he was at 40,000 feet he was well below, above the mountains and stuff there you know yeah considering most mountains probably in Utah range what probably 5,000 feet or so maybe who knows I don't know I've never lived around mountains they could have been around five six thousand feet depends on that mountain range where he says and then it, it doesn't the specify National, it's just yeah Zion, Zion National, National Park, Park, Park in the in Utah so and I'm not sure exactly where that park is in Utah this. so because I want to read through this later but I, I've seen all of this I, I, I bookmarked because I I get these I see these stories and stuff like this from this one in my mailbox and this this website here the the Daily Star out of UK and um, this one called cult of the weird I mean, uh, they got some weird shit in here, I tell you, if you just look at the weird news page. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thinking I want to get my hands on some of those books that he has. Who has? I was going to say, there, there's some from 1899, I, know. I noticed. But you were looking at it, too? I was looking at the eBay, because I was, I was looking up the rocks. And all that came up were his books. <laughs> so yeah, I'd be interested to get some copies of this. This one, the one that was from eighteen ninety nine. There were two different ones. One was for six hundred dollars, and one was for three hundred forty five. Yeah, but why would you want books from a guy that was dubbed what he was dubbed? You know, the wickedest man in the world. I mean, that's like wanting to read a book. Okay. That Charles Manson. Are you wrote, thinking wrote. there might be some ja bad juju with those he's books? He's not. He's not. Understand. See, that's that's why I don't like. No, you want to sit there. He wants to sit there. He yeah. Wants to sit because there. he doesn't quite understand what I'm he saying. He wants to sit there and get his hands on the book so he can spirit, uh, conjure the spirits himself. <laughs> no. No. You got to realize fucker. what I've been through. He's a crazy fucker. I he wants to sit there and conjure them himself. He's like, yeah, I'll do that. And possibly, maybe find something See? that I can Told ya. He's a sick fucker. I mean, no, anybody, next thing we'll know, he's going to be opening up a gate in his this, apartment. This, I, I would you have, know. you know, I've known that this And we guy, won't see him for a while. I've known that he's been a sick fucker for years. <laughs> I had to be extremely careful when going and visiting his house. And he's down in the basement because that's where he was all the time. Um, that was probably the, the that little area there was probably the cleanest place in the house. <laughs> well, that, that, that doesn't matter. I, I'm not getting into that right now. But I'd always have to be careful going down there because you never know what the motherfucker was watching. Oh, so you had to tiptoe down the steps and, and kind of peek around. Oh, you didn't want to tiptoe it, down. The, I announced, announced that I was coming down the steps to make sure he wasn't watching. Sure Watching consumption junction was, or junction or whatever. There was the a there was, was a called. website sick fucking website that was called sick motherfucker. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> there was a website that was called Consumption Junction. Okay. It had everything on it. It was And I weird. literally mean everything. There's a parody video on there of a husband and wife talking about doing some role play. And this was during Bush's administration, Bush Jr. Mm -hmm. And he's over by the closet looking through all their different costumes and stuff. And, you know, uh, well, honey, you want to be the milkmaid and I can be the cow tonight? Or you want to, I'll be the mailman you be the housewife? Uh, no, no. Hey, I know. How about I be George, George Bush and you be the country? <laughs> okay, and then they're screwing on the bed, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you real good." And she's like, "Oh yes, George, give it to me, give it to." Me. And it's like it's funnier and shit, and I actually have it on one of my other hard drives. 
<laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> or, yes. or a video taken from a street camera in Thailand. Dude swerving in and out of traffic with his girlfriend on the back of the bike. And she flies off. The she back falls back. off the back of the bike. She's wearing a helmet. The that's, fucking semi runs over her head. That's stuff like you see on Inhumanities, but that's not the sick uh, fucking shit I was talking about. But anyway, or Boomhouse. Boomhouse. I have that video. We don't want to gross out our audience, okay? I'm not grossing anybody out. Boomhouse is a house that has Christmas lights all over it, and they're flashing to. Um, uh, Siberian orchestras, uh, that, that fast one they do. So what do you think of this? SpaceX's illegal fleet of 5G, 5G satellites could wipe, wipe out, out life, life on, on Earth. Earth. <laughs> oh, Exclusive yeah. Activists say that 12,000 new satellites, which were approved without environmental checks, will envelop the atmosphere in a harmful radiation that could threaten our existence. That's what they're saying. What the 5G the five G has been considered to be a threatening radiation anyway. And our government, or see again, I say our government. Well, no, it's researchers, um, the, scientists. <clears throat> you're not listening. Yeah, I get it. The government put them up there. The government actually approved it without it extensive research and that's a problem yeah 4g is bad enough 4g causes enough problems yeah now they're linking the 5g they got 5g's to cancer too yeah uh, but didn't they do that to cell phones when they first they came did out? that with cell phones when they first came out and that would be the proximity to the head because you're doing this well you got to glue to the fucking now head you nowadays now, no, now like, you don't now you no, they're like this. You got to glue the fucking thing to their hand, connect. put in a headphone, yeah. and they're sitting there like this, typing and texting to the same person that's in the same fucking room across their thing from them <laughs> because they can't talk anymore. They forgot how to talk. We're going to text now. We forgot how to talk. Did you yeah. get that? Yeah, but you can think. I just texted you. Now get and that. Now, but, now but, yeah, for, talk no more. And now there's cars. There's cars that have Bluetooth in them. These you can think. The reverse engineering of the, well, of the this spacecrafts. Really? That's this, how we got these. This is what the... And you know what? Here's, here's something that's really fucking weird, okay? You know, this, this little device right here that I'm holding in my hand? Mm -hmm. This phone, this is the G7, or the S7, from Samsung, okay? This phone is more powerful than this computer. How is that? Because this phone has a faster processor and more RAM than this fucking computer has in it. How is that? Technology. Technology. It advances that fast. So they're making things bigger in smaller packages. Oh, yeah. Making they things more powerful in smaller packages. That's been the, the about, motto. Here, think about this. If you, you wanna... want something that, that can, that can uh, run an entire household well, and be... Big enough to put in your well, hand, they've like already had home. that. The House That's of Xanadu right did there. that, you know, pretty right much. There. was the first concept of that. One of the first concepts of a house running everything. You know what? Won't you have a Twinkie? Show the thing up. No, here. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how big, when a laptop first came out, how big and heavy these things used to be. Yeah. Well, here's I mean, a good comparison as, as is right now. With the laptop I got set in here and the one he's got set in here. This one here is an older model than this. This one, you can see, is thicker. No. Hey, here's your side profile. It's thicker. And, and this it folded thickness. up is still thinner. Turn yours around to go side by side. Look at this. Look at the fucking thickness in, in, in the lids. Comparison. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, well, look at this you device. Know what? Here. Did you take this and wipe your ass with it? You know, oh, it I told you Scott Tissue was going to come in today and visit you. He <laughs> knows all the ass shows. Scott I, Tissue. I know Scott Tissue. That ain't see? Scott Tissue. See? <laughs> see? He knows Scott Tissue. He knows all the ass shows. But anyway, and then there's this. Look at this. And and, yeah. and I thought just... But this, that's the funny part. Okay. This is just that's a little Kindle Fire. And this motherfucker this thing, can this sit thing. there and, and talk back to me. 
Yeah, because it's got built-in Alexa. But here's the funnier part about this. This thing isn't even as powerful as this. No, but this is just a tiny little one. I mean, they've got them big, bigger and better than this, too. But what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, all of that this is, still is even a smaller than that. Thing. And this is so, even faster and more more stuff it can do than this does. And and 20 years ago, there was no such thing as these or, or laptops. Nope. Actually, the laptops back then were, were like super huge and the batteries were even really heavy. And computers took up a whole room. Oh, that was even further back. Oh, back in the 60s when they were... They were uh, developing the rockets to trying to put a man on the moon for the first time one ibm computer would take up an entire room about almost the size of your trailer yeah and that was just one computer just to just to calculate the mathematical solutions to the problems that they had at at the time right now this little device here can calculate that and more yeah. right I mean, yeah, desktops I mean, were bigger and heavier and bulkier yeah. and junkier. Actually, yeah, like desktop, they have those all ones that are just the monitors. Well, yeah, yeah. those are a piece of but, shit. So. But desktops now are, are kind of stayed the same. They've just gotten, the interiors have gotten faster yeah. and yeah. More, well, more powerful. And, and, and the looks the on the outside is, get though, nicer. Right, looking, well, the looks you know. on the outside, you get more curves, more, more angles, more... You know, yeah, because they weren't all like a square like, thing that you said. But the thing is with, with the desktops, okay, the interior gets redesigned. The exterior gets a facelift. But the interior also has to be redesigned to be placing more fans inside of it as well. Because the smaller your components get and the faster they get, the more the hotter, hotter, they, hotter get, they get, the, the more they heat get. they generate. That's what so I just you said. got to get rid of that heat. Because... Heat is a computer's Where's death sentence. Parents? Yeah, that is a computer's death sentence. Oh well, yeah. You know, <laughs> it, 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 if your computer overheats, you're gonna fry out that motherboard. And, and here, here again, a computer or even with be a computer even with These, even with the desktops, phones, your tablets, everything, including these things right here that we're using right oh, now. Our, this, our this little camera. webcams. You can. Think the backwards engineering of the alien spacecraft because that's where everything that we've yeah. got right and now. Everything's got a fucking camera in it nowadays. That, that, everything that's technology based, that's that's fast like these. That's where most of it came from. Thank God! Thank God they didn't have this technology when we were kids. There'd be so much stupid shit we did when we were young that would be on fucking record. <laughs> you realize? You realize how stupid our With, nation would be. Everybody walking around. Everybody, everybody walking around with a fucking camera. Oh my god! No, if we had this Jack technology, would have been like personified. If we had this technology when we were kids, we'd be even more stupid than we are right now. Oh yeah, but the generations are getting more and more stupid as the technology okay, people. gets smarter. We're actually, com actually, we're coming up on an hour. Okay. Actually, I believe the millennials <clears throat> are actually going to be the ones that are going to drag us out of all this mess. They're going to be the ones that are going to be smart about things. Yeah. All right. Now, before we go, I have something I need to say. Uh oh. Okay. That's true. You guys, I already talked to you about, and I want to get the word out on this because this is something that's going to be extremely important come October. I don't know how many people who watch this are familiar with what they're calling the real ID. I don't have one yet. But up here in this corner, in this corner up here, right here, you're going to have a star that's there instead of whatever's there. And this is not just for the state of Wisconsin. This is for the entire nation. They are the, the officials, the government officials that are, that are uh, toting the line on this are saying that it is because... The, you're going to need it to fly domestically or to fly at all. And um, if you don't have it, then you're not going to get on that plane unless you produce a passport and a birth certificate, I think it is. So that's how they're saying this is going down, what it's going to be used for. Uh -huh. But I am here right now, here, 1st of February, or yes, 1st of February, 
2020 talking about this real ID and I'm telling you what's going to happen is if you do not have this when you go to vote in November you're not going to be able to vote you're not going to be able to vote they will either turn you away or they'll hand you a piece of paper that is a provisional ballot that and, never gets counted and the thing is say, you got to use this and at the same time the thing is they're not making this publicly known to and well. they are not making it publicly that known. this is changing that's because they don't they, they want to make well, it to where nobody press voter <laughs> now they do have they do have um <laughs> i'm vote. sorry we're not we're supposed to take this on a political rant but this is kind no of this, this is, is a very this is very important and people are not yeah. understanding and they're not seeing it well maybe we and i know we shouldn't do i know we shouldn't do policy or politicals in this because that's something we don't do anymore we did before we pissed too many people off and that's that's something we don't want to do but it is really really important this is really important yeah. because i am not kidding you okay yes they are saying it's because they want to make sure that the uh, you can fly and all this other stuff yeah, but the whole thing the, the is thing, you know, for years terrorism. years they have been trying to suppress the vote because they yeah. know that the more people that get out there and vote the less they win yep and this they is the republican side well, of they, the party they is they is okay. not the republican it's those secret societies that's running the fucking government that these republicans are part of so we can play their game for a little bit, get that damn real ID, make sure that you're going to be able to vote, make sure that once you get that real ID, you check the voter ro rolls and make sure they haven't kicked you off of it. Make sure you're, you are registered in. That way you can vote. That way your and, voice and can be you heard. Which way to vote, and I don't give a shit which way you vote. But you'll be I able to vote. I just want you to be able to vote. Yeah. And I know for a fact. Don't let them take gonna, your rights away. Yeah, I know for a fact that's what this is all about. Don't let them take your take rights away. Your you know, rights away. The government's you are to part take... of this country. You're you're a citizen of the United States, here, here. and our our United States has a democracy, and our democracy is starting to fucking. And, and they're trying to take they're trying to take more and more rights away from you, and bring us down, because they don't want us to realize that that some of the system's fucking busted and needs to be fixed, especially the electoral college, because. They should be, they should be like, the president should be like anybody else, win by popular vote, not some fucking rigged system. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's I all agree. I got to say on that. Otherwise, I'm going to go on a big rant. But no, and, 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 and we don't rant. want to go on a rant, okay? We really don't want to go on a rant. And I don't want to be you know, pushing anybody's buttons, and I don't want to piss anybody off. But the whole thing is, it's very important. That's why I'm saying it. That's why I'm telling people. And I, and I hope people who do watch this pass this on to friends and family members and make sure that they know that they need to get this done because it, it's it's part of their damn game to suppress the vote I, I, all right and, let's stop and it, I just and want it we'll just do I a just special bonus show be, just on that and put right. it out there like a special alert or something so, maybe. and if i if i upset anybody or piss anybody off because i said anything about this go fucking pair of testicles no don't apologize no, go i do for i apologize pair of testicles this fucking country's gone fucking soft. I'm sorry. That's just it. This I agree. fucking country's gone soft. I agree. Soft. The we people have, are getting offended this entire by too country, fucking much. This entire country has turned into a nation of snowflakes. I mean, comics can't even be comics nowadays snowflakes. without offending somebody. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, comics are, are even afraid of uh, out there of, of doing their fucking routines because they're afraid of offending some fucking group or some fucking person. And they shouldn't be. No. They should be able to do their routines no matter what because it's not it's like they're actually joke. picking on certain people. You know, it's just part of their routine. Everybody's entitled to their right to their opinion. You know, something funny happens. You know, you got to have a sense of humor. Fucking laugh about it. Laugh about yourself. Laugh about, you know, fucking comedy and laughter. It, it, it's the best fucking medicine. Get rid of the fucking hate. But that's all I got to say about this. So if you like what you see or you like what you hear, Follow us, watch us, share us with your friends. Check us out, www.utterlyinsaneproductions.com. Tell your friends, subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you shop on Amazon, use the link at the top of the page to help us grow. Oh, and just so you know, if you use um, AVG, um, the AVG browser, it doesn't show up. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll it's... show up on... on uh, Mozilla 
um, it should show my, te- my telephone box. It'll show browsers. up on, eat, on the, the Internet Explorer, and it'll show up on the, the uh, Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. But the AVG, which is, it looks like Google, Google Chrome, but for some reason it blocks it, and I can't figure out how to unblock it. That's because it tied into the AVG antivirus okay. thing. Yeah. Thank you for listening. This Thanks has for been utterlyinsaneproductions.com. Bye.